are here at Mavida Bakery in South Yarra. And you know, South Yarra is one of those places as a child that I was a little bit scared about because it's uber posh and, you know, it's not somewhere that you feel entirely comfortable in as a child. But as an adult, I love it. Uh, the trees are beautiful, the houses are amazing, and the food, exquisite. You know, some of the best I've ever tasted. At this bakery, they have an English baker, Michael James, who's doing a great job combining Spanish know-how with good Australian ingredients, like Australian flour. Australian flour keeps the bakery world ticking. You'll find it in great Parisian breads. You'll find it in the finest breads of Rome. You'll find it everywhere because of its flavor, because of its quality, and because it makes great bread, like this one. This is what the Spanish call a pan masa madre, and it's called that because it contains a mother dough, or what we call a sourdough. And this one, it's, it's warm, it's fragrant, it's just what you want a loaf to be. And it's baked here in the ovens there using great Australian flour. You'll see when I cut into it. I want to make this, I'm inspired by this. So what we're going to do is show you how to make a really simple, easy white loaf using the best of Australian wheat. But first, I've got to eat this. the way it should be. The flavour and the texture in the loaf you bake is going to be mostly determined by the flour you use. And that's why it's important, wherever possible, to use the best flour you can. I'm at the Greengrocer in Fitzroy where they have hand-selected everything, which means everywhere you go, whatever you pick up, it's going to taste great. I'm going to pick up some white flour because I want the best in this loaf. This one is an organic Australian wheat that's been ground really fine and going to give me a great texture in the crumb as well as a roundness to the crust. This loaf is going to look so good. But the other thing is to use this. This is an organic stone ground Australian whole wheat. And what this will do is add flavor and nuttiness to the crumb. And even adding just a small amount to a white loaf you make will just transform it completely. Inspired by Mavida Bakery and with great flour from the greengrocer, we're going to make the crustiest, easiest loaf you've ever had. It's easy to remember. All you need is 400 grams of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of yeast, and water. How easy is that? But today, a slight twist, because we're going to take some of that white flour out and put a little bit of whole wheat in. Whole wheat flour will give it a huge flavor, a nuttiness, and still look white, so it's a little trick there that will change your baking forever. Making this loaf is simplicity itself. We take water, I've got 300 ml here, about a teaspoon of yeast, mix these together, let them dissolve, then add the flour. Here I've got three quarters white flour and about a quarter whole wheat. Then add the salt, and this is where the magic begins. We're just gonna stir it all together and leave it for 10 minutes. The gluten will develop, the dough will become luscious and soft and exactly what you're looking for. See, the dough is very sticky. Sticky is good. It's, it's actually what naturally happens when you mix flour and water together. So don't think you've done anything wrong at any point. Just leave it in the bowl. So what I'm gonna do is just scrape it from my hands. Then we're just gonna leave this 10 minutes, come back and very lightly knead it and you'll see it transformed. It's been 10 minutes and the dough is looking just the way it should, knobbly, a bit rough and that's what we want. Uh, I've cleaned down a bit, we need a little bit of space to shape this dough but what you're going to see now is a little bit of magic. Put some oil on top of the dough and then pat it down and pat it in and around and tuck underneath as if you're trying to you know, make the dough sit like a ball, just lightly oiled all over. Take the oil, 
and again put it onto the worktop, rub it out, pick the dough up and plonk it down just like that. Watch this. Suddenly that knobbly rough dough is starting to look really smooth and really silky and what you end up with is this. It's just incredible. You know, suddenly you don't need to do all that kneading, but instead, all you have to do is leave the dough for 10 minutes and it's transformed. This will change your baking forever, trust me. Put the oiled dough back into the bowl, cover it with a cloth, only let the dough rise by half, shape it, then again let it rise by half and bake it. Do that and every recipe you use will work because you're keeping the dough young. Then from this point, all we need to do is think about how we're gonna finish it. We could press the dough out into a focaccia, we could chop it up, make little rolls, but what I thought might be good is if we try and do a loaf just like the one that we saw at Mavida Bakery, lemon shaped with a big cut down the middle, that'll look great. This dough will be perfect for it. So the dough has risen by half and all we need to do is shape it. Take a bit of flour, Throw it over the worktop, not too much, just a fine dusting. Scoop the dough out of the bowl and plonk it straight down. All I do is roll it towards myself again and again and again, trying to hold all the bubbles inside. Next, roll it back and forward with your hands a little bit heavier on the ends and you'll find you get this beautiful shape. Take a tray, lift the dough up and place it on. Give it a bit of love, make it look good. We're gonna wait until it's risen by half again, slash it, bake it, and consume it, devour it. It's looking perfect, just what you want. It's risen by half, take a little bit of flour, sprinkle this on the top. What the flour does is stop the knife from dragging too much. Then I'm just slashing it, like this. Again, see it's terribly easy and this will allow the dough to pull open and give you a gorgeous shape. Then, all I do is bake it. 40 minutes and you'll have the most gorgeous loaf. I hope you make it ever so often. The best of loaves to you.